What's going on guys? Birder here back with the Odin Project and we're on the last assignment for alignment and this is the Holy Grail layout. It's assignment 7, flex layout 2. In this last flex box exercise you're going to recreate an incredibly common website layout. It is so common that it's often called the Holy Grail um, layout and with Flexbox it is actually pretty easy to pull off. As with the previous exercise we've left a lot a little more for you to do. Hence you will need to change the flex direction to push the footer down. You will need to add some divs as containers to get things to line up correctly. Flex wrap will help get the cards aligned correctly. Make sure you define how much space the card should take up in order for flex wrap to work as intended. Um, this is what our it should look like this is what it currently looks like um, the header text is 32 picks and weight 900 um, let's go ahead and do what we know quickly so font size is 32 pixels font weight is 900 let's go ahead and see what that did for us all right made that bigger okay the header text is vertically centered with and 16 pixels from the edge of the screen so the header here, we need to do display flex align items center centered and 16 pixels from the edge. So we need to add some padding. Let's see what it looks like first. Okay. So padding 16 pixels. Save it. get rid of that save refresh there we go it made it too big so that looks good that was these things I'm gonna like I wonder if I can like highlight this Okay, I I don't know how to do that on this, but I'm just gonna put an X that so we done, done and done. The footers push to the bottom. The footer may go below the bottom of the screen if the content of the card section overflows, and or if your screen is shorter. Um, it did say we needed to add some stuff to the HTML, so let's go ahead and see what we gotta do that there. I think we just need to add a container part for this middle stuff so that we can select it div class equals container and I think we want to close that before the footer slash div oh my gosh this thing this drives me nuts and delete this one here let's save that what is happening here save save 
div class container. I hate how this opens the code like that. I like to have it separate it so it's easier for me to read. I don't know about you guys. The header and the footer. The footer text is centered horizontally and vertically. So I think what we need to do for the footer, let's just do this because we already got it. So display flex line items center justify content center. Let's see what that did. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Something's not going right here because um, I feel like it should be at the bottom of the page. We haven't messed with that yet though. Okay, so the footer, what did I actually change? The footer text is centered horizontally and vertically. The sidebar is 300 pixels wide and it does not shrink. So we need to do flex shrink zero it's telling us and we need to do the sidebar has 16 of padding so let's put an X there and it does not shrink It's already got 300 pixels wide, so we can put an X there. Let's save it and see what it looks like now. All right. So when we move this, the sidebar should go down. All right. Cards are arranged horizontally. There's 32 picks around the card section. Card. Div class card. So dot card. Sidebar links. Let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Sidebar UL. So I need to mess with the UL. Um, Sidebar links. So I think we still have to mess with UL, but this isn't where we want to do it. We want to do it in. We got to do links, <clears throat> and we want it to be. Color is white. The font size is twenty four pixels. Do not have the underlined text, so text decoration, which we learned last time, so it's set to none.
close that for now and see what it looks like. All right, there's no, no underline now. Okay. 32 pixels of padding around the card section. So then we should do card says to make sure make sure to set the make sure to set the card items where did it say that make sure you define how much space the card should take up so how much width should it be let's try 250 pixels Let's save that. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right, so we did this, All right? And we also did this. Cards are arranged horizontally. Did I already select the footer? Yes. to add some divs as containers to get things to line up correctly. You will need to change the flex direction to push the footer down. So already at the bottom but I think it already was but we changed the we changed the flex direction we added our divs trying to flex wrap where should flex wrap go to add to that container because this is what we want to wrap so dot container uh, display flex flex wrap set to wrap and then let's close that Save it, see what happens. So it wrapped a one time. I 
And we need it to wrap three times. So I wonder, let's see. Okay, so that it's not wrapping at all if it's big. I think what we need to do is make the width bigger. Get a little bit wider. And how do I make that sidebar come all the way down? We don't want it to shrink at all. We added padding. Where's our... Heading is good. The footer, I think, is good. The sidebar needs some help. UL. Oh, yeah, we didn't do anything here. Um, this is the sidebar. So we need to remove. <clears throat> text decoration. Didn't we already set that? We set it for those uh, not text decoration. That was the links. Uh, how to style list CSS, not links. That's what we want. List style type. So, list style type none. Because right now we got those bullets. We don't want that. So now they're gone. Still doesn't fix our sidebar part. Footer, we have display flex on, we have align contents, we have justify contents, we've got the bullets are gone, we've got our links look right. Um, you see something here so it's pushed to the bottom of the page but it's not pushed to the bottom of the page if those are here on a smaller screen it will look like this let me open that So on a smaller screen, it's going to have two. Alright. Flex wrap. Did I not do flex wrap yet? Did I do it? Flex wrap. Yes, we set up flex wrap. Footer is pushed to the bottom of the screen. The sidebar and cards take up all available space above the footer.
div class sidebar, div class header. We need another container here. separate this from the footer. Oh my gosh, stop doing that to me. Please. And then if we can select the body, then display I don't think this is going to do anything because I didn't set anything yet, but I think the body should grow. That fixed. I think we need flex basis here. So my problem is that, let's make it maximized. Why is this footer not going all the way to the bottom? If we could get the footer to go down, we'd be doing pretty good right about now. Why is the footer not at the bottom? That's my question. Butter, align item center. Line items flex and save that. Did that do it? I think that did it. It doesn't look very good though. Let's look at this. Oh, I guess it looks just like that. I don't like how all of the words are on top. Like it, I feel like this should be centered. Um, but we look like what we're supposed to look like. Let me just see one thing. I wonder if I can do dot card display flex line item center. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, it did work. Heck yeah. All right, so the only thing that's different here with mine is this heart here is, is purple. And there's this red. And I think that might just have to do with the font because they don't have a special heart. And I think if I change the footer to be red, then it's gonna change the whole thing to be red. All right guys, that is, um, that is our last flex assignment. The old holy grail. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff out. Just look at this. I'm pretty impressed with that. And we can now mark alignment complete. I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.